story of the day, the telecom spectrum auctions drew to a close yesterday and today reactions to the outcome have been pouring in. In case you missed all the action yesterday, here's what you need to know. The government received bids worth close to 66,000 crore rupees and managed to sell 965 megahertz out of a total of over 2300 megahertz spectrum. The telecom minister in fact said that the spectrum auction is not a failure and the telecom secretary J.S. Deepak speaking exclusively to my colleague Prina Barua said that the government didn't expect to sell all the spectrum on sale. Here's what the two big government voices in the telecom ministry had to say in their defense that the spectrum auctions were a success. Industry ka jo रुख रहा है तो उसके हिसाब से और आप लोगों ने जो लिखा है कि बहुत महंगा है महंगा है और वो लोग भी कह रहे हैं और आप लोग भी कह रहे हैं कि पैसा नहीं है स्थिति बड़ी खराब है तो इसको देखते हुए और सरकार तय करेगी उचित समय पर कब आक्षण करना है क्योंकि अभी तो पेमेंट उनको आगे भी करना है तो जब उनकी फाइनेंशियल स्थिति ठीक नहीं है तो अभी नहीं ले सके हैं तो तुरंत आक्षण करने में लेंगे इसकी क्या गारंटी है तो वो हम उचित समय पर उचित निर्णय सरकार करेगी Yeah, as you said, this was a large spectrum auction. We had put in a lot of spectrum on sale. And uh, the good thing about the auction has been that almost 965 megahertz has been sold. This means that in this auction, telcos have brought, bought more spectrum than they have bought in the last four auctions cumulatively. With more spectrum, their problem that spec small bands of spectrum were affecting quality of services would be over. And I would go as far as to say that this would be the end of spectrum scarcity in India. So that's a very satisfying feature. Sure. So, but uh, to look at the numbers, only perhaps 40% of the airwaves out of the total 2340 uh, megahertz that were put up on uh, sale, only 40% has been sold. What is your sense regarding that? Do you believe that there was no appetite for a large amount of spectrum or was it pricing that uh, did not really uh, you know, seem viable for the telecom operators? Because this time around it was not a fight for survival. Yeah, no, it was not a fight for survival. So this auction was different in the sense that no company had to necessarily buy spectrum to stay in business. The volume of spectrum which we put to auction, 2,300 crores, uh, 2,300 megahertz, was very large. And we obviously didn't expect to sell all of it. Sure. The idea was to give a choice to companies to pick up spectrum bands where they had shortages and to complete their holdings. With the objective of being able to provide Pan India good quality data and voice services. So the reason why 960 megahertz out of 2300 is sold is one, they've picked up blocks where they need it. Yeah. Two, they have restricted bidding to the extent to which they could afford it. And they have perhaps preserved cash for the fight in the marketplace. Well, we caught up with all the telecom bigwigs throughout the day. Chairman and founder of Bharti Enterprises, Sunil Mittal, congratulated the government for conducting an open spectrum auction process, while Vodafone India MD and CEO Sunil Sood was candid in admitting that the 700 megahertz band was expensive. Idea, on the other hand, is happy to have plugged its 4G gaps. I think the government did very well by putting it, uh, putting on the table a lot of spectrum and the government must be congratulated of running a fantastic, open, transparent process. I have maintained that. I mean, that I have always maintained. The pricing, you have to yourself see. A six, nearly 60,000 crores for a small, little, tiny 5 megahertz is, it was bound to not get any response, but nobody should be surprised. About it. We have been the largest buyer in this auction and we spent uh, 20,300 crores. At the same time, we have been very prudent in our bidding. Our feeling was that the 700 megahertz uh, bands were far too expensive. Uh, there was really no business case for us uh, within those bands and you know we operate on a business case basis for each circle. And therefore we think somewhere along the line, uh, you know, there, 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 somebody has tripped up in terms of the pricing 
it was just far too high for anybody, not only for us. In fact, there were no bids in the spectrum auction for that. The debt that we have acquired, uh, uh, actually installments and even interest payouts uh, uh, actually uh, start uh, much later, uh, uh, more from two, uh, 2020 20 and uh, there on outwards. So what uh, we have to see that there may be a pain for uh, uh, six to uh, six months to uh, uh, one year period. But uh, with this procurement, idea seller will uh, move to a completely different zone. 700 megahertz uh, very obviously hasn't been taken because of pricing. If government revises the pricing downwards in uh, the near term or in two years time, which is what CUI has asked, uh, will you still bid for the 700 megahertz band? Uh, I think uh, uh, the TRA and government uh, uh, have uh, focused on uh, using spectrum as a means to be able to balance their uh, uh, um, uh, budget uh, uh, gaps. Uh, but uh, if they had focused on building an ecosystem of 700, it would have been useful. As time passes, uh, uh, the, utilize, uh, the importance of 700 is dramatically going to fall. And, uh, uh, and I would give it uh, uh, value much lower than that of 1800. Would you not uh, bid for 700? Are you well positioned right now to not to completely skip 700 megahertz altogether? So it's in the realm of uh, speculation. I think media has been talking so much about 700. Mm. Uh, we have made our uh, big bets mm. and our current bets is on 1800. Would, would you look at some sort of an equity infusion or your thoughts on monetization of your tower assets? Is that a route that you would take to bring down the leverage? Towers are strategic assets and uh, while we will continue to have management control on towers, we will continue to look at opportunities uh, how while maintaining management control can we monetize uh, uh, this so two and a half billion. Uh, uh, so we will, uh, all options are open. All right, that was all the reaction coming in to the Spectrum auction. but.